so we can support this whole thing. All right, let me check in on the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, friend. Hello. All Hello. right, uh, I'll uh, be in there in just a moment. Two shakes of a lamb's tail, I understand that's what they call it nowadays. Uh, uh, I see in the chat that people are uh, worried about the frog. How's the pea frog? Is he, is he doing well? All we know is that he's washed away as far as I know. Uh, or maybe he's just gone further in and we just, we don't know. You know, piss frog. You saw a new piss frog? Yeah. It, it, we need to figure out something for this bit where I'm walking Where in. you walk by? And you don't say anything. Well, because I, I, I thought you were moving on around. Yeah. That's all. Hi, everybody. Welcome hey. to the green room. Hey. Uh, last night. Okay. Uh, we did Court Killers. Okay. Here on Monday nights. Love it. So I'm here at the studio after the show. I've started doing the editing for Court Killers here at the studio. Just so I do it right after the show. I don't get home and start getting distracted and all sorts of stuff. Right. So, so I was doing it here. So I was I don't know, maybe nine, nine thirty ish. I don't know. And so I go into that bathroom right there. Okay. The one it is. There's a bathroom right there. About about five, seven feet away from us. Yep. So I go in and I'm okay. I got to do it. And you know I'm I I drink the 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 caffeine water stuff. I drink a lot of water and fluid. They try to say fluid. Um, cause I'm a human, I'm built that way. I'm built different and also the same. And, uh, I am doing my business and I look down and I see a little friend in the corner of the room. Oh, in the corner of the room. Yes. It was not in the toilet. Okay. It was a, it was like a stereo, stereotypical cockroach. Oh, it, um, they, water bug. With the big, uh, ant, the big, big sure. feelers, the, the the brown the cigarette it had the cigarette it did in fact have the eight ball i'm not sure if it was vermouth that's right or whiskey they, they, those them them big old cockroaches they 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 live hard so i am doing my business i've already started i'm in the middle of it sure and it's a, and like i said i've been drinking a lot of water it's a strong stream i need sure. to go to the i need to, go to the you. racetrack you know i try to stay, try, try to stay hydrated you know yeah. i'm built different and uh so i'm like hey you're in the corner on the right, if you stay there for fuck a minute, just, just stay there for a minute. Sure. And we will go our separate ways. Yeah. You will go continue to live in this fucking disgusting bathroom. <laughs> not that bad. It's not that it's bad. Really but not that bad. It's not that bad except for the cockroaches there. So yeah. the you're, you you could you could just stay in this bathroom, and I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I'm not even gonna use the restroom again. I'm yeah. gonna go, I, I, for hours. I don't know what's gonna go. This room is gonna be dark because I'm not sure. gonna be in, in here. Very so much. they can and there's spots there's uh, spots under the door that that. Okay. Should this uh, cockroach mm -hmm. decide to leave? Yeah. Instead, you know what it does? Fucking, it it jumps me. It comes at me. It goes... Coming at you. It goes skitters. Directly at my feet. Like, I'm, I'm like, trying to move so I don't step on it, and it keeps moving, like, under my feet. It's yeah. like it wanted to die. Yep. It's like it wanted death by a human. That's right. And... It was saying, step on me, daddy. That's what it was saying. Oh. <laughs> That strong step on me, daddy energy. Oh, that was what was happening. It was in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still doing my bit. Like, it's it's now scurried. Because what it did was it scurried to get to the other side of the bathroom. Sure. That's all it was trying to do. Despite the fact that that's not where the exit is. No. Okay, whatever. He's not. He doesn't get. He doesn't get everything. No. It's not. He's just like, I just want to try to get away. I don't know where away is. Just, I'm just going to go get there. You know, it, it was... It was, it was frustrating, and it was a surprise. It was not a great surprise. Sure. I. Uh, so now we now we got now we got the piss roach. Okay. Somewhere so here. you did not finally just decide. Well, you want to die? I might as well kill you. No, I did my business because it, it in in the moment it felt like, oh, it wants to square up. Okay. Like if it was if it's not scared enough to that it will just come right at me. Sure. It's not like. A, I don't want to fight this cockroach, but I don't want to have a fucking cockroach on me. And uh, the, the power, the weight to power ratio on like keeping that cockroach alive is not outweighed by the fact that I would like to not be here. I am confident it. that if you squared off to that cockroach, I probably could have taken won. it. You <laughs> could have. I'm fairly confident you could have taken that cockroach. The other thing is, my dick and balls were out. Sure. And that is, I don't know if you've had this experience, Brett. I don't ask you about your downstairs place. Sure. Uh, I felt very vulnerable. 
I, I felt, I felt. Do you think he was going to make a make a run for for the D? No, but I, I. I'm I I was I was vulnerable. I was yeah, sure. I was exposed. Sure. And I didn't uh, like no, I don't think it was going to come and go for my boys. <laughs> but I'm I'm at the very least I need to keep the bathroom clean and not get piss everywhere. Sure, cuz then you're going to have to be It's not like that roach is going to clean up that piss. And honestly, Brett, honestly, I'm going to speak to you very honestly here. Do it. If I I'm glad I didn't make a mess because if I did I would have said, fuck it, I'm going to piss on the roach. Yes. I probably, for a moment, would have said, oh, you know what? You want to play? Okay, you you made this bed. Now I'm going to piss on it. Yeah. Scooper Nova Girl says, well, to be fair, the co- the cockroach was also exposed to naked. Yeah. But, but no sense of shame. No that sense cockroach of sh- has no sense of shame. Do I, I mean, do I need to put up a, cu- a cubicle in there? Just to, like, it's, it's, it's not multi occupancy. It's not HOV lane. Yes. Mm. Yep. Mm. Hi, Brett. Hey. What's going on, Brett? I made fancy food. You made fancy food. What, what is fancy food for you? Because for me, fancy food is. Uh, Anything fast food or above. Okay. <laughs> I have so, very humble taste. So, uh, uh, I, 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 as you know, I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. This year's a crime. And, uh, and there's, there's uh, so many ingredients that you pick up along the way that you can create, you know, potions or mm-hmm. meals. Or apples. That kind of, yeah, apple, lots of apples. Fish. Yep. Lots of bass. Mm-hmm. Different Just different like carbs. a... Deer and stuff in there. There are venison. deer. It just turns into gourmet meat um, or prime meat. Oh right, right. But one of the things that's in there is amaranth leaves. <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched her before. Yeah, I know. I love that show. Mm. Uh, but amar, <laughs> especially when she leaves. But uh, 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 so I'm at the uh, the. What is the, and, uh, we, and we have fun here. What it, what is this dish? Uh, amaranth leaves. Uh, amaranth is a type of green. Okay. I mean, it's a plant. Yeah. Uh, uh, and when I was at the Asian market mm. uh, uh, on Sunday, I do believe, uh, there was, amongst the greens, amaranth leaves. Oh, okay. And I was like, huh. So I looked it up and saw that you cook it just like greens. Just like in the game, yeah. you can do the spicy greens and it gives you whatever it gives you health yeah it gets heart you get heart points you get them, them heart points and the the heat resistance mm-hmm. sometimes so mm-hmm. uh i was like you know i'm gonna give this a shot i could do this and what is uh, this leaves and and, and it's i just leaves my friend spike spencer who lives in the area mm-hmm. uh, uh uh he's also a voice actor oh. uh was uh showing his fanciness of making Fancy ramen. And I was like, mm. I'm going to make fancy ramen as well. Okay. So I got some nice meaty mushrooms. Yeah. And I heated those up in olive oil and butter. Mm. And then... Olive oil and butter. And butter, yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, because uh, the butter will burn. But if you put a little bit of uh, right. olive oil in first, then now you get oh, a little yeah. bit of the butter. Okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so I uh, got that going. Uh, put a little chili flake oil in there. Okay. Threw those leaves just... Just as much as will. How fit. many le- like? How many? Because like, when you talk about preparing leaves, yes. I'm a, I'm thinking of like a like collard like spinach greens or spinach or spinach. Okay, okay. Where you so have... it's like a loose. It's not like is it is it like a boiled leaf? Are you cooking it or do, do you just throw it in like spinach? Uh, it, it's like spinach to where yeah, I mean, sure you can cook it down and it will cook down suddenly very compact. Yeah. Or what I do is I cook everything else that needs to be cooked. Mm-hmm. And then just before that's ready, then I just throw the leaves on top and put a cover and let it just wilt. Okay. Yeah. So I did that. Presumably it's more substantial than just a seasoning or a, Exactly. You know, it's like, it's part of the thing. Yeah. Mise so en scène. I did that, made some uh, boiled boiled the 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 ramen noodles and some chicken broth, mm-hmm. threw some extra stuff in there, put it all together, poached an egg. Which I had never Ooh, done before. You've never poached an egg I've before. Never poached How egg. did it go? It went very well because which, which my friend Spike, you uh, where you start the water boiling, put a little bit of rice wine vinegar in, just mm-hmm. a little bit, okay. and then make like a vortex. Mm-hmm. And then you pour the egg, put the egg right in the middle, keep the thing spinning, and then uh, it all just kind of turns into a thing. Yeah. And uh, so how was it? It was very good. Yeah. 
I was very proud of it. What is the taste of an amaranth leaf? Uh, Much like most greens, not bitter. It wasn't actually bitter. It was somewhere between a collard green (laughs) and a spinach. Okay. But it still has a leaf. I mean, it tastes like leaves. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but nice leaves. You know, you go, sure. okay, I feel relatively healthy eating this. What, our, our species has yes. come so far. Yes. And yet, we're still talking about the leaves. Well, we're we omnivores, eat. though. We should be omnivores. Sure, sure. But, it, the, but your story boils down to... I found these great leaves. I made some and leaves. And I ate the shit out I of them. I ate the shit out of those leaves. I ate these motherfucking leaves. Yeah. yeah. And don't tell me, don't, don't get me started on hunting. Yeah. Gathering? I yeah. gathered the shit out you of them. You gathered that. the fucking shit out yep, of that. Yep, yep. Hunting didn't need so much. Yeah. Closest thing, I, I foraged mm. because they were mushrooms. <laughs> So I oh. foraged. Did you actually? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, by going to the grocery store yeah. and saying there's a thing of mushrooms. I guess that, I mean, that's why we have capitalism. Yes. To, so that you can say, yeah, I I earned these mushrooms also, even yep. though I didn't have a pig sniff them out. Did you hunt and gather? Yes. Yeah. How? I went to the... Because I, 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 I touched where computers. The, I knew where those mushrooms were. I'm a where were they? Toucher. At the grocery store. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, is 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 it expensive amaranth compared to no, like a spinach? That was the thing because I, I I mean I hadn't heard of it, but uh, spinach and let it like so spinach cheap. like if you get the, one of those big containers mm-hmm. is about six seven dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the amaranth leaves that I have that were in a big bundle like a really good size bundle like mm-hmm. a good size bundle okay three dollars <laughs> okay so well. I I got about four meals out of that nice. So yeah, mm-hmm. that was it was worth the the try, and then and then I could do something other than spinach. Let's throw spin. Let's throw kale on there. Let's oh, throw right. you know. I don't like kale. Uh, like let's fuck all of this and go to Taco Bell. Okay, so, hey, now I'm on board. I know, I know you're on board. And so. and screw the greens. Yeah. Screw the leafy greens. I went to Taco Bell the other day. Yeah. Okay, so they updated. The, okay, just Taco Bell. They updated the app. Sure. And um. You know they they do that every every so often. So the other day I was driving home and I wanted to get I wanted to order just like hey really quick hey I've ordered this before I'll just I was on the road whatever. sure and uh, I did and you, and they fucked me <gasps> and they fucked me on this what my order is the Taco Bell it's the three soft tacos sure and gotta be no lettuce it's no. gotta be no lettuce no lettuce it's that's disgusting. It's it's actually disgusting. It's a waste of your time. It is bad. It's not even good lettuce. Right. It's not good lettuce anyway. It's it's, it's uh, iceberg, and it seems like it's, even, it's the stuff that they cut that's close to the core. It's not yeah. even green. It's not. No. You would think it's close to to cabbage, and it's not even not even good as cabbage. And it fucking smells. And yeah, it can't, anyway, some bullshit. So anyway, I did some. I tried to do this quick reorder thing, mm-hmm. and somehow it lost my modifications, and so I ended up with a bunch of t- the tacos and with, uh, with some bullshit. Some bullshit on it, man. I, I for for many years I would be very specific on the way I want my hamburger. Okay. Uh, uh, what would that have been? What uh, would that order be? Take a uh, stack. I I want uh, I want a cheeseburger. Okay. Uh, I would like cheese? I, uh, uh, American American. I'm actually pretty fluid, but American is the original. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want grilled onions. Okay. I want lettuce and tomato. L and T. Okay. Uh, but th- I don't want lettuce if it is iceberg. Okay. If I can have more of a green, then that will be mm-hmm. happy with me. Sure. I, I do not want those onions. Like red just, onions. Uh, uh, I don't want raw onions. Oh yeah, well no, it's it's too much. Okay. Uh, uh, uh mustard and mayonnaise. Okay. No uh, ketchup. No chup. Uh, no, no chup. Ooh. I want the chup. The chup goes with the fries. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, and so for many years I would demand that, mm-hmm. and would frequently be disappointed. Dis a fucking pointed. Yeah. And what a mm-hmm. go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So. I, uh, it was one of the few times that I felt like I matured as a person <laughs> and this is not on you. This is no, just me. No, I agree. Where I, I just finally said, just give me a burger. What's yeah. on it? I just give me a burger. Give me a cheeseburger. With a burger. Easy to take all that shit off. Yes. Not with the Taco Bell shredded lettuce. No. Mm, okay. I'm not, I'm not getting stuck on this. Yeah. I, uh, 
I, I started watching a new guy on YouTube. Okay. And uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I would say that his channel is um, very close to like tr- very like traditional satire maybe or, or but like also a, a, a very um, post post ironic. Okay. Or maybe even post post ironic, depending on because there's there's a certain amount of satire in the character that he plays and the 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 perspective that he puts on different issues, but at the same time he also does like YouTubery uh, things as like the starts of videos as like the foundation for something. Sure. Like the one like okay, so the one I wanted to talk about is um uh the the video is is titled. Let me see if I can blow the title here. That. Which you think you are, but are not, and it okay. is, and it's it's him going through uh, these lists of like personality, um, uh, like labels that people tend to ascribe to themselves. Sure, introvert, extrovert, mm-hmm. psychopath, sociopath, sure, uh, autistic, and, sure. Like, and, and all, all of those. And, and it's 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 funny. It is pretty humorous. It is. Uh, uh, it is a light jab at a at, at a lot of different people with with I think uh, uh, <laughs> some tact. Right. Anyway, he so he's he's doing this, and uh, he uh, one of the one of the, the one he says because I I know I've joked about being in my villain arc. I'm in my Grinch arc. Sure. And that was one of the things is that you're not. You're not here. Uh, I, I quoted it as from you're not in your villain arc. You just realized being selfish has become easier than caring about others. <laughs> Damn. Oh, they, 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 they know you. It, it kind of, it kind of got me. Yeah. Kind of got me. And, and I, um, the, the, the longer, uh, thesis or the later thesis of that video is like, yeah, like we don't like we are, short on community like the the era that we're in might be distinguished by a lack of community broadly speaking yeah um and and uh, and then he makes a joke about centrism so it it it's it's that kind of thing where it's you they're not taking he's on one level he's taking it really seriously right it's like edited and it's kind of it's nice and it's really funny really well written um but then it's also this little flip about right. the the message he wants to send, and so for a channel that does a lot of stuff like that, whether it's he's got a video about deconstructing ir- like what is irony, what is Boy. pre-irony, irony, post-irony, sure, uh, you know what he he does this. Uh, oh, and his his name is a J Reg, J R E G, J Reg. Okay, and um, and. Uh, it, it, it's just interesting because I, I don't think I don't think of it as like um, like an Alex Jones. He's sort of like uh, uh, what would I say? Well, hmm, maybe, maybe that's the wrong example because maybe it is a little excellent. Like it is him uh, making a message, okay. making a message. I think, yeah. But it feels more like spoken word or prose. It feels a little poetic, okay. More so than just acerbic humor, just kind of a biting, uh, cynical humor. Does does he uh, introduce the concepts, gets to the joke, and then kind of turns it on itself to where kind of helps avoid criticism? Or N- no, I think it is uh, because it, he. I, I think he's got about five four hundred thousand subscribers or Whoa, so okay for a, a, a nice yeah. moderate sized channel sure um and uh it doesn't feel like uh it feels like his audience uh is is very much on the same wavelength okay like uh i, I don't know it's it, it it was it's it's really fascinating and i and i thought it was interesting uh well, a just finding new people to watch online Right, um, but also the the larger point that it seems like he's trying to make in that video of of community of uh, maybe we're 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 missing community. I mean, we're in a 
uh, how many years into COVID are we now? Yeah. Uh, we, we, you know, talking about remote work, remote school, not even, and I'm not even saying that those are bad things, but in, um, in, an, uh, I guess if you were growing up today and presuming it's a, it's similar, if not more isolated than how I grew up because of our urban design or, or, or because of just the way that we like entertain kids. Right. Um, Maybe that does mean that there's less community. Maybe that means that like we you do need to send your kids to karate classes. Maybe so. I mean, and it and it doesn't help either. Well, it's that unstructured group time. You know, right now everything is structured. We try to do rough, you know, some kind of structure mm -hmm. to uh, enjoy the thing instead of just going. You know, that that that's when I get to my grumpy old man face where I'm like. My parents would go go outside and play. That's what the instruct with who I mm -hmm. don't just go and figure something out. Sure. And there's something amazing when when you can uh, have that unstructured time. I would hope that more people would have that, and maybe communities get built from that. And I, 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 I don't even think it's an issue of structured time versus unstructured time. Yeah. Or or because I think of I think of when I was coming up. It it was a very like uh, car society. It was you needed to be. You, it was starting to be like you were being driven around. Yeah. The, the the defining way uh, of making your day around was driving to a place, especially as a child when you don't have a car and all you have are school and the third thing that's not school. Right. Uh, and I I have to imagine that there's just even more of that. I. Uh, this is a weird heuristic, but hear me out. Isn't it weird that every school nowadays has these like impossibly long lines of cars to pick up children at the end of the day? Oh, yeah. Or even even drop offs at the beginning of the day. That seems like you'd hope there'd be more school buses. It just seems like a lot of it. And yeah. and and. Uh, and that's new to me, I guess. I don't, I don't have experience with that. That was not my experience of, of, of the way our school was, just was laid out in Virginia. Um, but I, I just see it. I just think it's, it's really, um, not to put on my fucking hippie hat here, but it's like every, every car there has probably two people in it. Yeah, and one of them is being chauffeured to that place probably on the way to somewhere else but it's not exactly like everyone there is carpooling it's just it's really fucking weird yeah i mean do you I, we uh oh god we'll talk about it a little bit in the show show but uh we we went to a concert over the weekend mm -hmm. a bunch of us the group here on the show and uh uh Leaving, getting out of there was the big, the big to do. Yeah, because um, it's over at the F one track, and it's it's really rural out there. It like there's just nothing else built out, yeah. out there, and the road infrastructure is really bad. Um, and that's like the only that's the only time I think I as an adult feel like I would put myself into a position to be in such a long line of cars. Like I don't love waiting in the drive through. For very long, <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> it, it, like I couldn't imagine making it a five day a week thing as part of my. I guess maybe if your kid's on the on the way to work or something, but I I don't know. I I watched to school for a while and then I took the bus, so I just, I don't I don't know I don't I don't understand it. There was a funny uh, uh, who's it lawn makes. Mm -hmm. Uh, says a parent think their precious little angels are too fancy for buses. I think that maybe parents think, well, this is the thing I have to do to show my child that I love them is mm -hmm. by taking them to school. You can't just like maybe there's uh, there's this social thing of saying, oh, you let your kids walk to school or mm -hmm. you you're OK with them biking or riding on a what are you poor to ride on a bus? Well, no, but that might be the. Uh, the understanding is like, well, no, I've got to drive my kid to school. Yeah. I, I, I see you in the chat is, is making fun of me. How, through how many feet of snow, Rice? Like, I, I, wa I walked to elementary school 
mm -hmm. regularly mm -hmm. uh, by my uh, at some not immediately, but uh, by myself at a certain point. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I was a latchkey kid. My parents were out the door pretty much by the time I was up. Yeah. Um, so that level of like hands on or, or handling, I just am not used to. Um, I don't know. Colin J. Crawford in the chat says, we had long car lines in uh, middle and high schools in the early aughts. My city had plenty of buses, but there was a social stigma to yeah. taking the bus. Yeah. Which is, uh, j it's, I, it just seems weird. It just seems uh, 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 a tough thing. Yeah. I don't know. And I grew up poor, so we were poor. That's why, yeah. the, you know, and I had to bike to school and I had to do, a, and I, you know, what's funny is, is mm. in therapy, uh, the, the therapist was like, well, being a latchkey kid, was that, you know, something, did you miss your mom? Well, yeah. Well, you know, were you upset that she was, no, she had to work. Like, no, she had to work. And it was really funny to have that conversation where they're like, but shouldn't you mourn this thing that you never... It's like, why would I mourn that? You know, I miss my parents because... It's like, no, they had to work. That mm -hmm. it, It's just one of those... Like, these yeah. things that we do... Yeah, and, but and also, like, you were a child. Yeah. Like, that... that I don't want to, I don't know. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm about to push us entirely off the cliff. Here. Let's like, do it. No, <laughs> you're, you're a child. You can't be responsible for that. Right. You, you, and you can't be responsible for your feelings and for the things that you like, I, right. I, I can appreciate. And I'm sure, I'm sure you do appreciate as, as a, as an adult that you feel like you made a sacrifice or we're putting up with a sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that it's also okay to say that you didn't like that. Right. You know. Um, yeah, it, absolutely. By the way, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's just for That's me. That's what, yeah. For me in particular, I was just like, no, I mean, this is what we had to, like, in, when you're in that moment, like for me, mm -hmm. it was, this is what we have to do to survive. Okay. Well, yeah, but your mom wasn't, well, she was there when she could be there. Mm hmm But what about you? I was good. I had my 11 o'clock in you know, 11 uh, channel 11 million dollar movie to watch when I got home and mm -hmm. you know I played mm -hmm. my music or or I played with the kids in the neighborhood yeah. you know yeah 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 got beat up it's I don't <laughs> <laughs> you know as you did it I, it is uh, it is just a weird time yeah uh, I I I I, I, I uh, it's just going to get sad. The thing is, it's just going to get sad if we keep going down this cliff, Brett. Right. And I need you to stop enabling me on this one. Okay. I need you to push me onto something else. You know what? What's up? Uh, <laughs> beer's good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, I've talked about this website before. They're relatively new. They okay. are... Uh, uh, it's, it's called 404 Media, 404 media.co. Okay. And it, they're a bunch of former Vice people. They were at Motherboard. Okay. Um, and don't worry, they will let you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were busy. They were, you know, a lot of their investigations were presumably in progress when Vice closed all their shit down. Sure. Um, so they did a, uh, an article today, and I think it's one of the freer ones. Um, about uh, and Andreessen Horowitz, I believe that's what it's called. Do you know Andreessen Horowitz? No, but that's a great name. You might have heard of it before, if I said it right. Yes, Andreessen Horowitz. So they are one of the big uh, venture capital uh, companies. Okay. Um, and they their big one A sixteen Z is what it's called. Okay. And so they put out this report entitled "How Are Consumers Using Generative AI." So before we get into this, are you using generative AI or really any creative AI applications? As a matter of fact, I have. Oh yeah, yeah. I anything uh, interesting? Uh, uh, we did have a funny moment at the regular job mm -hmm. where I promised that I would do a talk about uh, the uh, uh, well, we call it customer service one hundred and one, mm -hmm. and and I have definite thoughts about it. Yeah. But when 
the night before I'm supposed to put on this thing and I haven't written anything down yet. Nothing. <laughs> not, oh. not a goddamn thing. Okay. That, that I was like, hey, Chad GBT4, mm. give me what, when it comes to this area, what does uh, uh, customer service 101 look like? Okay. Yeah. And so it listed these things and mm. 70% of it I agreed with. Mm -hmm. There were other things that I thought this is obvious. Obviously wrong. Wrong or not something. or not on the wavelength that I'm going for. Sure. And so I used it as a base mm -hmm. to where then I can go, okay, get rid of that, get rid of okay, change the way this is. Da, 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 da. So then when I was there on our lunch and learn, I was able just to, to roll. Yeah. And, uh, and what was funny was at the end, they were like, this was great. Thank you very much. I'm like, good. You know, I'm good at public speaking. For some reason, I'm good at public speaking. No way. And the head of the company was like, you know, uh, I sent out a bunch of emails and I used AI to help write those things. Hmm. And he goes, do you use AI to create this? I was like, I, a framework. He's like, mm -hmm. so you're going to let AI teach people about? I said, did it well, work? <laughs> the response to that is... You didn't just feed people unfiltered AI bullshit tokens yeah. like yeah. you presumably went through and fact checked and edited and like yes. was like okay this is I mean you, you mentioned like you, this needs to pass your muster mm -hmm. before you before you say uh, it. It, it, it as uh, Justin has said it was a great prompt for me mm -hmm. it's a good starting point it's not right you know. There, uh, I did. I talk about. I think maybe this was on weird things, but I the, I saw a TikTok video of a teacher. There's a teacher on a news program being asked, like, "Well, what 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 do you think we should do about you should do about AI? How do you protect against Chad GPT if you're going to give out writing assignments or history assignments?" And her response was really good, which was, "Let him use it. Ask him to go home and write. Have it write a basic thing." And then come into school, and we'll work on it, and we'll make them better. Because yeah. it's not going to be good. No. What comes out will not be great. You can tell. You really can tell. You like. You can tell when an image has kind of been AI generated. Um, it's really smooth. Yeah. Or, you know the the lettering is like really fucked up or something. Extra fingers. Extra fingers is a big one. Sure. Um, and text. You know, text is all right. But it's pretty, it's pretty vanilla and certainly not very interesting. Yeah. So, okay. So th this report, uh, like what are consumers using generative AI? So they did a ranking of the top 50 gen AI web products by monthly visit, but mo monthly visits. Okay. So, so there's a couple of things wrong with that already. One, a lot of these, if you're talking about usage, a lot of people don't use online based ones. Okay. In fact, one of them, uh, Number seven, civit.ai, which we talked about on the show a few months ago, uh, is only for downloading models. Oh, okay. So you go and you download the training data and you plug it into your thing and we'll do it on your side. Okay. So here's some of their top ones here. Uh, ChatGPT, uh, character.ai. Okay. Bard in third. Okay. Poe in fourth. I think that's the Facebook one. Uh, Quillbot in five. Photo Room in six. Civit.ai in seventh. Eight is Mid Journey. Okay. Okay. Uh, nine is Hugging Face, which is like a github -y sort of thing, I think. Sure. And then uh, number 10 is Perplexity. Uh, we, we can go on, but a lot of these are not household names. Sure. So 404 took a look at this, and, and, and they read uh, this, this Andreessen report. And uh, one of the things that they don't really talk about in this report is that uh clearly porn is a major driving factor in generative artificial intelligence sure um in fact they they uh, uh they end the article with this just to kind of put that part to bed even if we put ethical questions aside it's absurd that a tech industry kingmaker like a16z can look at this data write a blog titled how are consumers using generative ai and not come to the obvious conclusion that people are using it to jerk off <laughs> If you're actually interested interested in generative AI boom and you are not identifying porn as a core use for the technology, you're either not paying attention or intentionally pretending it's not happening. Absolutely. 
that's that's kind of reminds me of of how uh, you know we would never have uh, YouTube unless we had RedTube first. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like it's driven. A lot of this was driven by porn. VHS, Some great Betamax. things came out. Yeah, came came out from that. Sure. And um, and I'll say, I I had access to a good number of uh, the the average person has access to a good number of AI things right now. Yes. I have access to a few more, um, and pretty much. The ninety nine percent of what I've used it for is jerking off. <laughs> um, I'm, I will admit it. Like, Physical and mental. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. The, I I don't. Um, I kind of like writing. I don't have a problem writing things or putting stuff together. Right. So I don't tend to find like I. I'm sure I if I used it, use ChatGPT or an AI for for for. for putting writing office work or something obviously like it's a tool there for me right but i i jerk off a lot <laughs> like it's it's i'm sorry yeah you know i got it, things to work out i mentioned this on trending lemon a few uh, years ago i uh, i think it was on the chris james episode but i i like literatica i am a reader sure uh that's that's just where I get my kicks. Yeah. And so generative AI is like really powerful for that shit. Yeah. And it's also like, uh, I don't know. I feel a little goofy about this, but you go to any of these, a bunch of these websites that I mentioned, and it's so obvious that these are just being made for porn. And so I don't know. I feel uh, bashful, I guess, about it. I do feel a little bashful about it. But I also agree, like, yeah, that's probably what most people are going to use this stuff for. So have you seen some generative AI porn, like written porn, that yes. was pretty good? Yes. Huh. It was all right. Yeah. Uh, or sometimes, okay, I'm, uh, look, it's Bash for Boys here. Okay. Uh, or sometimes I'll take a story someone else has written, mm -hmm. maybe tweak yeah, sure. Uh, and then say, "Hey, keep going. Keep, yeah. Keep, and keep then writing. what happened? Or, or you, you guide it. You yeah. know, um, choose your own adventure. There's a chat bot that's like that. Nice. Anyway, uh, I just we been... need to get ready for it. Yeah. We uh, like the deep fake stuff uh, is bad. Like deep fake. Like don't fucking deep fakes people. Don't fucking put amaranth or her her many leaves <laughs> onto someone else's face. Right. That's fucking not cool. Um and there is a lot. There's a uh, many many fucking uh, that, but people are going to use this thing for porn and we kind of need to get okay with it. So that does that mean these porn writers are going to be out of jobs? Uh, that's a gr that's a strong question. I don't know. I do bad not know. Ones are, I, I'd say bad ones are. Presumably, a good one would have more gives gives them more tools if they need them to write better. Yeah. But again, like, it's not great. What comes out is not great. Mm -mm. A lot of times, I have a lot of times I just do the writing. Yeah. You know, and that's a fun little experience for me. I'm getting a little bit of writing in, uh, and I'm jerking off. But 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 but. but I, th I think right now with AI, because so much of it is server side, mm -hmm. so much of it is transactional, needs to have like a financial element to it because there are like GPUs and so many, so right. many costs that uh, there are like, you know, once fucking PayPal gets involved, then everything gets, just gets, has to get weird and, and, and things become verboten. But like they mentioned in this article, like Civit, or I mentioned Civit AI is number seven. And that's only tracking website usage. So it's not you. You can't make a web. You can't make one on that website. You have right. to download a lot of. You have shit. to do. Yeah. You have to do a lot of stuff to do it. So the people who are actually using it are probably using it a lot more than we know. And I think that's fine. I yeah. think local stuff is is fine. Uh, uh, even I don't know whatever. But uh, at, mm, what do you think, Brett? Are you are you doing? Uh, I realized every question I was about to ask you. 
Very personal. Uh, do you have true. any? Do you have any contributions to the conversation that I just had out loud? Well, uh, uh, how about that? Is that safe? Enough? Seeing how my <laughs> wife uh, uh, creates some racy things, right? Uh, uh, we have become it. It has taken a while for me to, you know, get out of my not shame, but it's just reluctance to to talk about these kind mm. of things. Mm. Uh, but being part of in in that world and knowing writers who write, yeah, you know, porn and smut peddler and all of that stuff, mm -hmm. it, it's gotten uh, you know, it the, the weirdest thing ever was saying to my wife, to my wife, my wife, my wife, hey, I, I like this thing, you yeah. know, and and not be like, oh wait, am I, you know, I'm I'm still I'm still am uh, I spitting in her face? <laughs> In the bad way? Yeah, it's like, is this the thing? Yeah. That we're supposed to be? I mean, that that's... Oh, uh, oh boy. Man, mm. that's a whole... It is a whole deep, can of worms. The, the whole thought of, of uh, uh, as an adult looking at porn, I have absolutely no problem with, especially if I know that, the, you know, especially when I know that no one is being, you know, people who are there want to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not the weird situation. It's like, this is, sure. then I, that, that, uh, uh, really, you know what my kink is? What is that? Enthusiastic consent. That really is, <laughs> that's my kink. Like, okay. I don't yeah. like it when they're like, no, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, then I don't stop. Like I don't yeah, that stuff know. Is, that stuff is, Sometimes it's okay, but a lot of times it's not. A lot yeah. of times you're just like, this is a little too realistic, consensual, non-consensual for me. Like, it's right. too, okay. Right. To me, it's enthusiastic consent. That's the, that's, <laughs> and, and EK always laughs at that. It's yeah. Like, you know, I want everybody who's in the room to want to be in that room. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot to sure. me. <laughs> Do you, okay. Do you have any hot takes? I've got a, I think I have a hot take in this line okay. and i'm happy to share it if you need a second to think about it but all right think uh, i'm going to share a hot take with you and i'd love for you to share a hot take with me if you can okay. hold on um there was a film uh gosh 15 years ago now uh adam sandler and kevin james and now pronounce you chuck and larry yes you remember that that was where two firefighters one of them, uh, his wife dies, mm -hmm. and to keep his insurance, he marries one of the other firefighters. Yes, because he's got a kid or something, and so they pretend to be gay with each other, and then they they do the they do the uh, the threes company thing of like ah the gay inspector's here we need to gay it up honey yeah uh, and I a, a I feel proud about humanity that we haven't like really put that movie on a flag and just say like, Oh, fucking Chuck and Larry. Like, I'm really glad that that movie was so comically bad that it, or comically outside of the lines for the time that it never became a go-to cultural flag. Right. They weren't saying that people got Chuck and Larry on CNN. Yeah. But my hot take is, you know what? Go do it. If you, like, I, I, I think most, I think, I think most people are born gay, but honestly, if you want to choose to be gay, fucking have at it. Choose to be gay. That's fine. Sure. Like, whatever. That's, that's or fine. if you want to be gay for a while. Yeah. People change. Sure. You know, the ship of Theseus. The ship of Theseus used to be gay. That's right. And then? And then now it's non-binary. Board by board. Mm -hmm. It decided maybe not so much. I mean, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm doing a different thing. The, uh, the, uh. So is so I, I don't know I it, it feels one of those weird like <laughs> it feels like a w very weird pet peeve to have of like I I do think most people are born or are inherently their sexuality I think people tend to develop it organically generally speaking but I think if you want to be cognizant about it if you want to say you know what I'm gonna force myself to be straight or whatever to yourself whatever go with god conversion is a completely different fucking yeah thing, we're not talking about conversion right. therapy it's just like hey you know i'm kind of tired of being gay yeah like i may be gay mm -hmm. but maybe i don't want to be gay for 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 a while for whatever reason or uh, or mm. if you're a straight person and you're like why not as long as you know it's a very interesting mm-hmm
Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's it, a strange one because born like the I get it. Born this way is a very like yes is is feels like a very airtight you know messaging and I and I agree with it and then some I guess that's where I'm at is like fucking there's not a sanctity in this label right if you want to say that you're gay so that you can get government skrill like <laughs> sign me up I, uh, what like there's i don't know it's 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 um so that's a hot take of mine and i yeah. I, I, I bet there will be people out there who disagree i hope that i explained it very well yeah but i i i do think that that's a that's probably something coming up in the next 10 years that we are not fuck. ready to talk about ah fuck what the fuck ladies and gentlemen what the fuck <laughs> what get the mic the <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hi, just, Justin and I were trying to figure out how sex works, and I was just wondering. Yeah. So, is this connected to the conversation? So we were hearing what we were talking and y'all about. Y'all tried something. Yep. Wow. Interesting. Wait. You okay. helped. Shh, yeah. Go with it. We, we you that. helped. So, and so, when's the ceremony? Yeah. You know what? We we didn't want this to be the way it came out. Yeah. Yep. Oh. But and <laughs> Justin and I, uh huh. Mm-hmm. I guess it's official. Yep. yep. And we're <laughs> we're gonna hug each other. Yeah, <laughs> that's very sweet. Here we right. go. And I think, right now. and that's here very go. valid. Okay. Here we go. Right, here we go. Here oh, we go. Uh, okay. No, yeah. can't back out. Oh, Hold on. Can't back out. I mean, I know we. You're on the water slide now. To hug. Who's the big spoon? That's but what I want to know. I'm just. It's let's find out. It's not me. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. Can we go Don't through Don't leave it him hanging there. Time? Yeah, come on. I mean, you got my arms out, oh. big dog. Oh. He's leaving you hanging. That's a pterodactyl. It's just I got. I got my shit spread. <laughs> yep. Let's go. Bring it in. I mean, I want Bring this it in. to be right for you. You want me to put my legs around? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? All right. Okay. All right. All there right. It is. There we go. Okay. Yep. okay. Come on. Bring it in. Well, I mean, I, my I, hammies are not there. built it's, for this. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a very yeah, wide theory. Yeah. Got some splats yeah. going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. We're settling. Is, oh. Is, oh. oh. Settling. Okay. oh is, now we're here for a minute. Is, Come is, in. I, like I just teacher. want to make sure this is right nipple for to you. nipple, nipple to nipple. He's ready. Let's go. I don't know. I part of me, part of, part of me thinks you're I think wanting to just put nipple. on a show. No, <laughs> for reals. For real. Oh Do my it. God, nipple for to real. nipple. It's never Do been. It. It's never been realer, dog. Okay. Like y'all haven't um, done this before, but yeah, you're doing exactly. it in public this yeah. time. Five minutes. Of That's hug. great. And thank you. Fucking Bryce just looked at his watch, got bored. Well, he's got, he's no, got, he has a job he's got to shit do. To do. Yeah. He's got a job. Like, that, by the guys, way, you pay him for. Yeah, yeah. you guys figured the fuck out. Well, he's got to go get doing his ready. job. That's my fault. Don't that I think pay that him. you can get away. Oh, God damn Come it. Come on, get in there. Okay. All right. Come on, bro. I'll hold your mic. I mean, it's just. Go double mic. Mic is Go double fist it. Double fist it. Hand me the mic. Oh, thank you. Ooh, it's still warm. Yeah. And talking to Mario, like, move from one to the other. Come on. Does nothing. Thing, yeah. Really? Are, 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 are we doing like the full committed like yeah like, like, big like, hug. like I'm yeah. talking really yes or are we doing like the no that's you know, end of the night you want to do both let's start with start that. with the tap tap okay all the right, tap all tap right. all right and, bring it in and yeah and hold it tight okay yeah okay, all, right. all right so this is like what I call sales guys at a conference yes hug. Okay. okay, so it's like uh, it's passionate enough that you know that there's something behind it, okay. but it's so not hard. Slap. Is it is big it slaps? Is it the big slap slaps. or right. is it the okay. hold or do you hold? You no, hold. No, 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 not not, not watch not. and learn. Okay, okay. here me. we go. Show me how it's done, bro. Yeah, you know what? I didn't ever realize how important sales as a service was until your presentation bring bro it. bro bring it, bring it in. in bro bring, bring it. it in bro bring it. oh there we go there we go <laughs> that looks that's that's the straightest hug bro hug i've ever seen i tell you <laughs> i think y'all are wrestling now <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of slaps on the back yeah. a lot of slaps <laughs> you, not, uh, your lungs are clear he, give, <laughs> he lung. gives nine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yet we have to release simultaneously. Oh, yeah. right, there, there we go. All right, here you go. All right, in the back. So that's so, one. So, 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 <laughs> yeah, that that's the safe one. I'm shocked yeah. at how well my hammies have held up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, so now the real one. Now bring it. I've realized how aggressive this dance is. <laughs> You're looming. I definitely have oh, legs of Kimbo, and I'm looking <laughs> dead into the he's barrel. Not wrong. And yeah. Brian is refusing he's to meet not. my gaze. He's going suddenly. <laughs> he's not wrong. You, you are radiating alpha energy. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> hug me. <laughs> now is the Brian, time. Brian, show your fealty. <laughs> and hug me. I, I don't know. Boss. <laughs> uh, Did you call it a boss? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I actually didn't want to move because I was afraid my legs wouldn't go. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. All right. Uh, okay. I mean, you can do side hugs. There could. So, be... what were you talking about? We were we were talking about uh, uh, if if uh, once you are gay or straight, yeah. uh, that is it. Is, Whoops. Is it okay to to go explore the other side? What, is that some kind it's of? It's literally the only way to know whether or not you're gay or straight. You cannot know if you prefer Coke or Pepsi until you've tried both Coke and Pepsi. There we go. Yeah. Yep. So fuck you. Wow. Hey. Fuck you, hey, guy. Wow. Hey, hey. Welcome to the new segment. <laughs> we're, we're villagers who hate move. you. Wait, I'm gonna no, you. No, no, fuck you. No, no, what just no, happened? I'm saying no, no to that just, segment. No. What just okay, happened? I'm vetoing the angry Hi, villagers Hypothetically segment. imagine that yeah. happened. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm in. Fuck you! Fuck you! No! Fuck, no! you! No! Fuck, Fuck you! you, you piece what of shit! Ever? Remember, I'm voice Three of God words. in the next set. I know, so. I know, I know. No, uh, 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 uh. Honestly, I feel like this is a gendered question. Because I do feel like dudes think about this more than girls do. Yes. Uh, or maybe girls think about it as much, but they just have... They have a different language. Girls, yeah. um... Practice kissing with each other. Yeah, you know, like guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We've all practiced kissing with sure. the homies. Sure. I mean, right? I mean, in the locker room, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. After a little league? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know? I mean, I was the coach, exactly. but, you know, that's a weird thing. PSAT so. prep? Sure. PSAT sure. prep? <laughs> right. All right, practice. everybody, everybody, <laughs> okay. practice kissing. Everybody <laughs> practice kissing right now. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, here we go. Is that what Ashley sees? Is that, is that the look that Ashley sees? When <laughs> <laughs> That's what EK likes. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, Bryce. Hi. Help. Take over. <laughs> This is the worst throw. Th okay. Thank you to Green Room. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the Green Room Great Night pre show. Whole dang thing. I'm still Bryce Castillo, but we're still doing this thing. Thank you so much for joining us here, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 19th. We are going to check out your birthday borner to let you know uh, all of the birthdays that have happened in our uh, beautiful. Uh, beautiful group, I think. Ah, here we go. Yes, we have Donkey Business. Their birthday was on Saturday. Happy birthday, Donkey Business. A subscriber here on Patreon. Thank you to everybody who uh, uh, who who joins the birthday borner discord.greatnight.tv, I think is what it is, or greatnight.tv slash discord. It doesn't matter. Find the, you find the link to it. You got it. Uh, everybody, uh, we, uh, hi everybody. Uh, let's talk about some fast cars briefly. Over the weekend, we had the Singapore Grand Prix and boy, boy, howdy. It was, it was an amazing race. It was an amazing race in Singapore this weekend. Now we, we lost a driver in Lance Stroll. He crashed out. Uh, early on in qualifying, was it qualifying or, or maybe FF, FB3? Um, but he he ended up, uh, I think he hurt his hand or something, and so they uh, they couldn't they couldn't let him race and they couldn't replace him. What I heard is that he couldn't be replaced because qualifying had already happened, 
I guess F1 has a rule where you have to participate in one pre-race session to join a race, whether it's qualifying or practice. So apparently, uh, boy, could not get the drive uh, and could not get replaced either. But it was a, a, a stanger, simply a stanger stonker of a race. Uh, those last 15, 10, 15 laps were amazing. We saw Carlos Sainz slow down his Ferrari at the front of the pack to give Lando Norris behind him a boost to avoid the two Mercedes drivers in three and four who uh, were on some newer tires. And it was, it was electrifying. Bryce. Yes, sir. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I want to. No, I, 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 you know what? I'm glad you brought I want, this up. I want to give you. I'm glad a, you brought this I want to give you a preemptive what? fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. For this reason. All right. Me and my brother decided last year that each year we would go to an away Steelers game and we would have a little brother's weekend. Oh. And mm. this weekend, we are seeing the Steelers play the Las Vegas Raiders in Sin City, and it's going to be a fucking disaster to get anywhere because the entire city is gridlock because of your stupid hobby of f1 f1 has totally crippled that entire city everything that we uh, what, what you saw for that defcon seems, by the way I, I, that seems i, 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 that seems I, I, I was excessive. not prepared for this conversation what but, you but saw I for defcon uh, how bad was the traffic i don't know i was looking at how my daughter was a bad person hey, what 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 what, <laughs> what what is what is that's what you get when your improv partner is no fuck you <laughs> he wasn't ready for it i was <laughs> asking him a direct no, no, question no no no, no, no. Uh, 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 they, they have construction it's yeah. legit awful uh, like when you were there yes uh -huh. now they've it's actually better? closed off the roads because they are within what a month and a half yeah the it's race? yeah yes and so, like, now they actually have to have these roads settle so it's because worse. these, like, perfections of uh, mechanical engineering are going to be racing on them, yeah, and the yeah. lives of the drivers are going to be in their balance. Mm -hmm. So now you have to drive a million hours to get fucking anywhere in Vegas. Yep. What if you uh, walked? Yeah. What if you walked? I was you... mostly yelling at Bryce. Why am I looking at you? <laughs> I'm don't, blaming Bryce for this. I'm, I'm trying real hard no, no, to play no, no, sport. Do, yeah. do, no, no, no. Do, do me a favor. Blame Bryce with me. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know what? We've been keeping it quiet for a bit. Uh -huh. but like, what up with you trying to ruin Vegas? Yeah, is, is all why? we're trying to say. Well, like, this would have this been very cool. grows at one goddamn beard. All of a sudden, all Man. of Vegas is underneath his bootstraps. He's boots fucking having his under. taint licked by the Orleans. It's yep. uns. It's obscene. This would have never happened if you and your little millennial friends wouldn't have got into that fuckers. goddamn Netflix <laughs> yeah. show. Fucking, fucking yeah. fuckers. This is, would have been a weird you curiosity fucking for fucking fuckers. All, like, 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 like all, all the villains in Taken. I'll show it up with mom and dad's money bills. You know, it's <laughs> and you're what? like, hey, what if this place was terrible? Well, congratulations, you did it. Cars are bad for the environment. <laughs> Yeah. That's, 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 Thanks for ruining the earth while you're at it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they were gonna have sustainable fuels. Are weird. They are. They're fucking weird. They say do you have you seen how they spell tire? Gross. Have you seen how they spell the word tire? It's yeah. fucked. It's so fucked. Wait, no, I, how I, do they spell tire? Real spell quick. with a Y. Uh, yeah. D I mean, D -Y -R -E? Not for, not yeah. for real? us, but for, for a real. friend. Not for us, but for a friend. Like spell tire. E oldie tire. They spell it T Y R E. Get it's out of here. Fucked up. What the fuck? No. Uh, oh, uh, speaking of what? Vegas, speaking of Vegas yeah. F1, and we're on it, uh, uh, they are considering having to change the name of the big building that has all the pits, the pit garages and hospitality stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what, is, what is it called now? Uh, well, it's I traditionally. Oh, yeah. Wait, you well, I mean, I no, was, you go ahead, Brian. What is it called? <laughs> Circuit of the Americas? No, that's the venue that happens here in Austin. Which yeah. contains... Circuit. And... Americas. And... Of the... And... Now that we've settled that... <laughs> you know what? I withdraw my question, Your Honor. <laughs> What's it called? So it is a paddock. It's, the, it's called the paddock. Of the Americas. Of, of the Americas. 
But uh, apparently, it is becoming a big of a thing in in Vegas that they want that they want F1 to change the name of that building for the Vegas race. To what? Uh, to anything that's not Paddock. Uh, Why? <laughs> Why? That was the name of the Mandalay Bay guy. <laughs> The, uh, the Mandalay the, Bay what? The, the shooter, shooter from Mandalay from Bay. From a few years ago. His name was Paddock. That seems name? like some internet shit. I know, but uh, yeah. That's it, a great... It's a strange that's one. Cause that's a great be- way to begin a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of what you just said, I think of great intro for laughs. <laughs> Let's just ease ourselves into some good comedy by bringing that up. Yeah, I, you know, when you just put it that way. Just to skid on in. Just some chuckles. Well, when Ryan you... is throwing He's... money onto an old computer. <laughs> this is not a metaphor. How is that funny? I don't know. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you to everyone who helps put this together. It's been the pre show for the Great Night program, the green room, the whole dang thing. Uh, of course, if you want to support this, uh, go to patreon.com slash great night. That is uh, the way that you can support this. Keeping this uh, free in all the feeds, uh, get the bones, all sorts of great stuff. Is someone barking? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to. All right. Let's check this. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do the show anymore, he says. <laughs> I don't want to be around. I don't want to be around. All right, let's do our final checks here. Uh, Brian! Yo, yo! Brett! Yo, yo. Hello, friend. Oh, a little, a little. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> did, did yeah! I, did, no. did, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Annalise. <laughs> Get in? Ready. This chat in our beautiful studio. All right, folks. Let's have a great night. Why don't we? Brett, you ready? Yes. I will count you down in.